So next question. Yeah. How did you get into art and what gets your inspiration? Um, I love research. I love researching. I, yeah, I, I know, right? I'm, I'm like a sponge. Like when I look at something, I look at the color, the texture, the size, the history of it. I love to research on history. Uh -huh. And I think that's another reason why I really enjoyed like this whole Mad Minds project thing, because we're talking about like, you know, people that existed that were like super intelligent, super creative, like Tesla. You know, Tesla was really fun to do because there's a lot of research that, that we went into to understand him, uh, his personality, his career, um, you know, and what he experienced. Um, the competitions that he had while he was, um, you know, even though he was a genius, he also still had to get people to believe in his projects as well, right? In order for people to invest their time and money into, you know, his creations. So, um, you know, Tesla was a guy who really enjoyed um, sitting on a bench and he was, he loved just like feeding pigeons all day. He was really invested into that idea that gave him a certain level of peace. And, you know, his mother thought, always thought that he was, that he was brilliant ever since that he was, um, since, since he was a child. And it's very interesting to see his highs and lows, you know, and so all these things in his life and through the research, um, if you look at the colors, the way we create the illustration, um, all of that information was embedded into like, you know, every stroke, every line that we create in the art that we create for Tesla, you know, uh, with that, with it in mind. Um, so we study the history first of each character or each person, and then we want to really um, pay respect to um, each individual uh, person as well. So we have to do all the research before we create the asset.